If you're doing any AFK Slayer or need range XP, this bow is a must have. It is the Venator bow, it comes from the Secrets of the Norse Quest and is dropped by Phantom Musfa, which is dropped in 5 separate shards that you have to assemble all together to make the bow. This bow lets you hit multiple targets in multi-combat, which makes it almost like bursting for range for any monsters smaller than probably around a greater demon. Not only is it amazing that you can hit multiple targets, but it also makes it where you can AFK stuff very easily because you're constantly re-aggroing more targets due to its ricochet effect. It's basically like a cannon, except now you're the cannon. You can double up on it or just use it in place of your cannon, but you can also use it on monsters that you normally wouldn't use it on before, something like Dagonoffs that you wouldn't burst, you can use it on, or you can use it on tasks that you would normally burst, like Dust Devils. I honestly never burst tasks anymore and always use this bow when I can. Only task I wouldn't use it on that you normally burst is neck reels, just because of all the spawns that they spawn, it's just not very efficient. Now I am 99 mage, so I don't have a lot of incentive to burst, but you could say the same thing about my range where I'm 99. However, I've been using this bow on long range. Now there's two nice things about this. You may say, why would you do that? Rapid's better, you're attacking a tick faster. Well, on long range, I can sometimes get around 50k defense XP, which I really do need defense levels. And when I'm putting it on long range, it actually can make it more AFK. Because sometimes when you're on rapid, if you kill the mobs too fast, the other ones won't spawn and won't continue that endless cycle of attacking and pulling in new mobs. On long range, since it kills them just very slightly slower, doesn't make things too much longer. It actually makes you click less because you're aggroing the mobs more often. I'm using mine for the imbued heart grind right now as I'm getting close to 99 Slayer. And it makes tasks like Abyssal Demons that you would normally grind for the good superiors very, very AFK. And it's also good for Turial skipping, which I'm also doing when you have to kill simple tasks like ghosts or skeletons that you can also multi-combat down here as well. A few other places the bow is good is Nightmare Zone. It's really good range XP at Nightmare Zone. You could also use it in the Wildy God Wars dungeon if you're trying to farm ecumenical keys. I've done that before and it's pretty chill because it hits all the mobs down there and anything you hit has a chance to drop an ecumenical key. There also happens to be one boss in this game that this bow is best in slot at and I don't think many people know about it yet, but also it's probably because not a lot of people kill this boss. So here's why the Venator bow is best in slot at Grotesque Guardians. During the Grotesque Guardians fight, there's a phase where Dawn the Ranger spawns three purple orbs where you have to basically take out all of her health before those orbs grow and reach back to her. If they reach back to her before you break her with the rock hammer, she will heal back up. And previously, you used to skip this phase by using blowpipe and doing enough damage to knock her out before the orbs get back to her. But since the blowpipe nerfs, this hasn't been the best in slot item anymore, especially if you don't have the right kind of darts, if you're like an Iron Man or something. With the new addition of the Venator bow, you can actually stack the two mobs here, the both the bosses, and have the arrows reflect off Dusk and hit Dawn to kill her fast enough where you don't have to worry about the orbs. Right before the orbs phase starts, if you get to the back wall right here, they'll stack perfectly, and once you start shooting Dawn, the arrows will bounce off of Dusk and hit her twice every single time which will be enough to kill her fast enough before the orb phase is over. And by no means am I in best in slot range gear. I found the Venator bow to be really nice. The damage really starts to add up with those ricochets and it seems to be a lot better than blowpipe. One thing that can really mess you up though is if you accidentally click Dusk instead of Dawn. If you do click the wrong one, then the bow effect will not work and you'll be hitting double zeros on the other boss instead of hitting Dawn for two hits. But thankfully there is a runelite plugin that can fix that problem. So if you go to custom menu swaps and you turn on the plugin, you go right here, you want to type in attack comma dawn with a asterisk and then follow that up by attack comma dusk with the asterisk. And now you don't gotta worry about clicking the wrong boss when they're stacked on top of each other. Overall the bow is pretty cheap to use as well. You just need arrows and essence that draws from Musfa and Trust me, the boss drops plenty. I actually grinded out, got all five shards myself. A little bit spooned there, got in 419 KC. 
and I made the bow myself. But if I was a main or anything like that, I'd be buying this thing in a heartbeat. 